Live from Bellevue, Washington, it's theCUBE. Covering Smartsheet Engage 18. Brought to you by Smartsheet. Welcome back to theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin with Jeff Frick, and Jeff and I have been live at Smartsheet Engage all day. Jeff, we're in not Vegas. Not Vegas. Bellevue, Washington. This has been a really electric event. The keynote kicked off this morning, standing room only. They have doubled in only their second year. They have about 2,000 attendees. Uh, 1,100 company, customer companies represented here. They had customers from 20 countries. They had more than 50% female attendees in the second year in a row. But we've heard such great groundswell stories all day. Yeah, it's been a good day, Lisa. You know, there's, there's a little bit of confusion in this space, I think. There's a lot of tools around workplace productivity. Uh, we got to hear from a couple of analysts and kind of how they're reshaping the way that they define those tools. And that's okay, and, and I get it. But what but was, but was, there was no question about the three customers that we had on and the passion that those three customers had. Um, kind, of, kind of old school shadow IT implementations. They brought the tool in from their prior, their prior work, plugged it in, and are having tremendous success even uh, the last one to the chagrin of, of the parent company that builds software to do the same thing. So there's really no substitute for, for that type of passion and you know, we've seen these kind of communities grow before. I remember early days at ServiceNow, I, it kind of reminds me of that, you know, a, a lot of passion, applause, applause at the new features, yep. which is, is always an interesting one. So a really, a really good day. And you, well, you talked about those three customers that we had on today. We had uh, GE Renewable Energy, which was our last guest. Uh, a woman from Sodexo. Sodexo is a massive, massive um, company. And then we had uh, this, a gentleman from the office of the CIO at PayPal. These are three massive companies. And the interesting theme from each of them is that these were groundswell opportunities for Smartsheet to really go viral within these organizations and make massive business impact. And it's interesting that it's really, even from a sales perspective, when we talk to the VP of strategic accounts, it's, this is not a top-down sale, this is bottoms up. Even PayPal found it on their own and learned how to use Smartsheet from YouTube videos. I love that. That was fantastic. <laughs> so I, I love, you know, everybody talks about the new way to work, but what about the new workers, right? And, and, and both of those examples are really good. The, the, the PayPal one was great. Office of the CIO, and yet to figure it out, they just watch YouTube videos, which is how people learn things today. And they implemented it from that experience. They didn't call Smartsheet, they just put it in and it worked. And then, and then we just had uh, GE on and his comment that you know, he wanted something lightweight for his workers, lightweight. Three click rule, he said he had a three click rule after we turned the cameras off, that if you can't get it down to three clicks, you got to go back to work and make the process a little bit simpler. So, you know, these are, these are real examples of real big companies implementing kind of at the departmental level where this is getting traction and executing to drive differentiation. And that's, that's pretty exciting. Regardless if you get confused about the messaging or this or that, those are real life examples. Uh, and there's nothing that's more validating, right, than the voice of a customer who has used it, and especially the voice of a customer who is not a developer, doesn't know what an API is or need to in their daily jobs. This is technology that was built um, from the ground up back 12 years ago on the construct of a spreadsheet which so many people understand and they've really parlayed that you're comfortable here with these tools. There's going to be, like you were talking a lot about today, very smart that you brought up, hey, hey there's, I've got so many apps open. I think Forrester said, you know, between 13 and 30 apps people have open every day. So it's, you can't really compete for that mind share. So in terms of differentiation, we've heard from Smartsheet themselves that they collaborate with companies that you think would be their competition. Right. But they understand that this, how this is starting from this groundswell, they have to be able to collaborate, to integrate, to connect with Slack, Microsoft Teams, Office 365, CRM systems from Microsoft Salesforce, because that's how the worker needs to see their information. And they're also giving um, users the ability to configure. I want to see this, my team might, might want to see something completely different, and we can do that while sharing the same information. Right, right. I think the, the, the thing that struck me as really the big competitive differentiator in this kind of work group management is the going outside your four walls. 
um, if you use Salesforce, if you use even, even G Suite, every time you know, I send you an email, it says, Lisa's not in your G Suite, are you sure, are you sure? Like, red flag, I'm doing something wrong. The fact that the smart sheet uh, licensing structure is set up that if I set up a, a project, I can share it to people outside my organization, they can participate in that project, a, it just makes a lot of sense, because more and more projects, right, you've got contractors, you've got partners, you've got all these things. It's not just this isolated um, instance anymore. But then, more importantly, for Smartsheet, it just gives exposure to the tool to a new group of people. Um, so I think that's a really key part of the story here that, again, maybe kind of is under the covers in terms of some of the so. messaging, but a real key differentiator. You know, we've seen this type of viral growth before. I used to work for an Atlassian service provider, and Atlassian had a great, you know, kind of seed strategy. $10 for 10 licenses, and the $10 goes for schools in Africa. Brilliant, who doesn't want to pay 10 bucks to help such a worthy cause and then to seed it in. And then people that are successful with the tool, it goes with them. And we heard that here. Uh, the last gentleman from GE used it at a prior company, brought it over, wanted a lightweight tool, not a big ERP tool, implemented, and now he's running uh, he's had $100 million in assets more effectively than he could before. Exactly, but what you talk about in terms of that big differentiator, their ability to, if I'm a Smartsheet user and you're not, I can share something with you, we can collaborate. They've got, I think I read over the weekend, about 650,000 active individual users, but they have about three million people that are collaborators, and I think it was Mark Maynard, the CEO this morning, Jeff, that shared with us, that's 40% of their business. They have a massive pipeline by just enabling this collaboration and the right. ability for a user that's paying for a license to share with a colleague who isn't. Right, and then there's just always the, you know, the small conference. There's 2,000 people, still new. People are super passionate. You know, there's, it's not a big vendor show, it's not a big expo hall show, but people are super engaged. Um, and sharing information, and, and you know, you, you get that in kind of the early days of these conferences, which is a really neat thing to see, and there's no substitute for passionate customers. At the end of the day, that's all you can really hope for, uh, and that's the validation that you need to move forward. Absolutely, and they had, I think, over 50 customer speakers today, and I know how incredibly difficult it is for a marketing team to find 10 yeah, customers. Yeah, you know that, right? Right, to 50. speak, let alone what, you know, what multiplier you have to have to get 50, 4X. Right. Maybe not here, it seems like these people that are users at PayPal and Cisco and Sodexo and GE Renewable Energy have found this on their own and are really kind of creating this virality that is, uh, it was very infectious, contagious. Yeah. Which is amazing today. to me, because there's, again, there's so many applications out there, and, and, and they don't all do the same thing, and they have pros and cons, but to be able to find it, to be able to deliver success, and, and again, another important piece, and integrate in with those existing systems that already are in play, you know, as Mark was very clear, we're not expecting you to throw out the apps that you have, you may or may not be able to display some with Smartsheet, but we really want to work with them, right? We want to play together, not necessarily play separate. And again, you have to do that to be successful in 2018. And they're listening to their customers. They have to do that to be successful. That's driven by the customers. It's clear that you know, there's a push-pull effect, and it's going to vary based on the enterprise and their overall objectives, but their collaboration with customers to develop and to prioritize all of the enhancements that people have been asking for for the last year since the first Engage right. was really, uh, you felt that, you heard it, there was a lot of applause during the product um, announcements se session this morning. They are listening, they're taking that feedback in, and ultimately, what their VP of Customer Success talked about is they're driving change management. And that is extremely difficult right, culturally right, right. to be able to do. It's people, right? I mean, they said it right out the top. Empower everyone to improve how they work, connect, innovate, and execute. I've said it time and time again. We do a lot of shows. I think that's a pretty straightforward path to give more people more data, the tools to, to manipulate the data and get the answers. And then, more, most importantly, the authority and power to execute those decisions, especially when you're close to the customer. That's where good things happen, that's where the organization moves forward, and, and, and it can't be centralized command and control, everything's just moving way too fast. Right, 
right. way too fast. Well, Jeff, I had a blast hosting with you all day today. Yeah. Learned a lot. My perspective has really opened up about Smartsheet uh, and what it is and how it can really drive a lot of transformation and, and accelerate digital transformation. I can't, I can't help but again go back to my, the line from, from Google Cloud, right? People want to move to judgment. Less drudgery, more judgment. That's what <laughs> they're enabling here at Smartsheet and we are excited to be here and covered and can't wait to next year. Awesome, thanks Jeff. Again, Lisa Martin with Jeff Frick. Thanks for watching our coverage of Smartsheet Engage 2018 from Bellevue, Washington. We'll see you next time.